there is one nice feature as regards pivot tables that always makes impression for the first time when you see it uh, and it's uh, connected with the filtering operation let's uh, discuss the following scenario we've got six regions uh, so we've got six uh, region managers and we would like to create a report for every of this uh, person and um, this report will be quite simple we will have the analysis by product category and subcategory containing sales and profit maybe let's uh, format a bit the numbers in here to make uh, the numbers more clear to our audience uh, for the profit we can once again repeat the technique with the negative uh, numbers uh, colored red uh, let's sort the data by sum of sales for every level we have and this is the uh, initial pivot table that every regions manager is interested in and right now everyone can find his or her region select it on the filters uh, shelf uh, and uh, pick uh, pick what is uh, correct uh, but there is another way to do it by using the option show report filter pages it is available only if you have something on the filters shelf and by doing so you will generate six separate worksheets with region name for every of the uh, managers this is really a nice feature but later when we will discover slicers you will see that you probably will not uh, take this approach uh, very often how do you refresh this kind of uh, workbook where you have a lot of separate pivot tables uh, because they share exactly the same pivot table cache it's enough to refresh just one of the pivot tables and all of the remaining pivot tables uh, will also be refreshed i usually use also the refresh all button that you have on the data tab but you can also find exactly the same refreshing icon on the analyze tab refresh and refresh all it's enough you refresh just a single pivot table in there and all of the other pivot tables will be refreshed too